Let's go. It's your man, Mike Bowens, coming to you once again, live and direct. Listen, I got another powerful message for you. Call a neighbor, call a friend, share this message because it's going to totally revolutionize your life. Now, this message is entitled, How to Have a Better Relationship in 21 Days. Ooh, that's a bomb going off. Boom! Now, I know somebody's like, how can I have a better relationship within 21 days, Mike? What are you talking about? My relationship is so messed up right now. There's nothing that 21 days can do to fix it. Now, I think that you're wrong. Now, I'm going to take a little research and a little science and a and little faith and mix it all together. And after I finish explaining um, what I have researched and learned, hopefully you'll see how in 21 days you can have a better relationship. Okay, so now, um, many of you know, um, a few months ago, maybe in January, I had I was diagnosed as a pre-diabetic, and so I did a radical overhaul of my um, exercise, my eating, my intake of water, vitamins, minerals, everything like that. And not only when I began to do that, did everything around me begin to change, my mood began to change. Not saying I wasn't a happy person before, but then I felt like I was in a zen. I had so much peace because then as I began to research and begin to and study, I learned that your stomach is actually connected to your brain. Ooh, I'm going to say it again. Your stomach is connected to your brain. And so there were foods that I was eating before. I don't know if you ever ate steak or a burger or something, um, turkey or whatever. Certain foods you eat it will make you feel sluggish. It will make you feel tired. Right, and there's other foods that you eat, nuts, berries, like blueberries, um, um, things of that nature, celery, that will make you feel vibrant, make you feel energized. And so, um, as I began to research, and I read book after book after book after book, I read Dr. Juwanza Kanjufu, hope I pronounced his name correctly, um, Satan, I'm taking back my health. And then I read Dr. Joe Wallach's um, book, Immortal. Actually, I listened to the audio book on YouTube. And then I researched um, countless other books. Dr. Schultz, um, Reversing um, Sickness and Disease. So I read all of these books and I went through the scriptures in the Bible. And I came to an overwhelming, um, a overwhelming resolution that... The issues that we're facing has to do with diet, exercise, and belief. And obviously our water intake. And so as I began to change those things, I went back to see my doctor and she was amazed. She said, wow, you know, because I thought that I was gonna have to put you on medication, but I see that you proved me wrong. And I love when my patients prove me wrong. So now as I was going along in my studies, I noticed that they also took mice, right? who were, um, didn't have any issues, any problems, and they gave them the typical American diet, fast food, fried foods, and starchy foods, and put it in a cage, and they began to eat that. So they began to gain weight, they began to be very lethargic, sluggish, tired, and they began to fight each other, and they were not mating. So a lot of people that's impotent, right? A lot of men that's having that problem, it's the diet. Once you begin to change your diet, that problem will change, right? And you, you'll have more energy. Then they also took another set of mice and they gave them a raw vegan diet. Vegetables, fruits, nuts. They begin to lose weight. They begin to um, not fight they live and live in harmony with one another. And then they begin to mate like crazy. I would say like rabbits, but they mice. They begin to mate like crazy so they noticed that it was the foods that they was eating that was causing them to act this way I said hmm so I'm noticing as I started going along deeper and deeper in research when I started seeing how people talk about mental health issues not all the time our mental health issues um, have to do with just the mind alone I don't know about you but have you ever um, eaten certain foods for a period of time fast food fast food fast food and it feels like you can't think straight. It's like a film over your brain. Like when I eat um, vegetables and fruits and things of that nature and drink plenty of water, it's like I'm sharp. You you ask me something, immediately the, the answer comes to my mind. Whereas when I was eating fast food and fried food for a consistent basis, you would ask me something and I would have a hard time trying to 
understand what it is that you were saying to me. You could be asking me the same question that you asked me a month ago when I was eating just raw fruits and um, vegan food, right? I'm not saying you don't eat meat, but it's a way to eat it, you know, baked food as opposed to fried foods. And so when I was doing that, I started to research and go even further. So mental illness has more to do with what's going inside of a person as opposed to what's just in their mind. And then I went even further, I said, man, if food alters your mood, like music alters your mood, I'm I'm quite certain that a lot of relationships are having problems based off of their diet, not just off of the issues that they have with one another. That's a bomb going off. Boom! Because once you begin to change what's going inside of you, then you can have more energy, you can have more peace about yourself. Then you can think clear, clearly and hear exactly what your spouse is saying to you as opposed to this film that's over your brain that you don't even realize that's going on inside of you. And now when your spouse is speaking to you, you're just irritated because you can't understand what they're saying to you. And many people don't realize that this is what's happening in their relationships. And they think it's the other pro other person is the problem. But they're not understanding if they change their diet, they'll have the energy that they need. They'll have the peace that they need. And they'll be able to understand more clearly what their spouse is asking them and asking from them, right? And so as, as I, I begin to speak to other couples and I begin to research this, and I would say, you know, you're having problems in this and this, but I said, look, let's not talk about what this person does to you or what this person says to you. Let's look at, can you tell me what's your diet, what you eat? They said, well, typical, typical American diet. What do you mean? What does that have to do with anything? They're just always nasty and cranky. I said, that has to do with everything. Because if they were not eating like that, then they wouldn't be nasty and cranky all the time. I just had a chance to speak to another gentleman. He says he eats mainly meat, red meat. That's all he likes to eat. He said he's not a happy person. He just He's very uh, impatient. But he said his, per his, his girlfriend that he's dating, she's... She eats uh, mainly fruits and vegetables. I said, let me ask you, is she bubbly? Is she cheerful? Is she happy? He said, yeah, for the most part, she's, she's pretty happy. It's me. And so I know somebody's going to write me and say, you know, Mike, I know people that eat fruits and vegetables and they nasty. They got a bad attitude too. But I'm saying for the most part, if you research and go deeper into what I'm saying, you will see that this the foods that you eat does have effect on your mood and your attitude and how you feel about yourself how you feel about life how you feel about god how you feel about your future because there's certain foods that you eat you ever heard happy foods when you eat certain foods they make you happy and there's certain foods that you eat it makes you feel tired and sluggish like you just want to sleep and so believe it or not that affects your marriage and a lot of times we eat based off of tradition we eat off of culture. We eat only for taste. This tastes good, so I don't care if it's hurting my body, I'm gonna eat it. And what happens is over time, your body begins to disintegrate from the inside out, affecting your mind and your body and the cells within your body. And now you no longer feel that you're in control of your life. And so many people, see it doesn't happen instantly. I think if, if the problems happen instantly, then people would say, dang, I gotta change this. But it happens slowly and gradually where the problems begin to happen. You slowly begin to get obese. You slowly begin to get uh, tired more. You slowly not to be in the mood for um, some McLovin. You start, you know, you, you, you don't want to do certain things like you used to do in, in the past because you're too tired and you can't think straight. So for 21 days, if you begin to monitor what you eat and set a plan, set a menu of, hey, let me eat um, vegetables or um, um, fruit for breakfast. And let me have, you know, I can have my baked chicken or grilled chicken for lunch with a salad. And and for dinner, have cabbage. Cabbage and maybe brown rice or some jasmine rice or something like that. But begin to monitor your intake. And when you want to snack some pistachios or peanuts or whatever, instead of a snicker bar or potato chips or uh, ice cream, you know, then you're going to and, and, and start taking some time to do a little exercise, a little walking or jogging or something so that you can get your metabolism going. In 21 days, your body's gonna to start to feel better, you're gonna be able to think clearer, and you're gonna have a better mood and attitude towards your spouse. You won't be as cranky. So your, 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 your spouse can ask you something and as, as opposed to you responding, what do you want? You just always bother me, you get on my nerves. It's, 
But what did you say? I didn't hear what you had. To, what you what you had to say? Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't I didn't understand what you were saying. And I don't understand what you're saying. I could be on the same page. But sometimes a person can be asking you something, but because you're so clogged up on the inside, it makes you so frustrated and upset so quickly. As opposed to when your body is free on the inside, you know, you have good bowel movements, you go into the bathroom on a regular basis, you know, you're drinking your water, right? Now you can think sharp, clearly and sharper. So now when a person asks you something, you're not snappy and jumpy, right? That's half the battle is in your diet. That's something maybe most doctors will never tell you when it comes to relationships. But I can guarantee you, you change your, your diet, change your mood, you change your relationship. This is your man, Mike Bowens. I'm signing off until next time, saying be blessed.